Hello, thanks for joining us today for the latest behind-the-scenes look at our Dunham Investment Committee's allocation decisions and insights for the second quarter of 2024. There were many changes amid the shifting financial landscape, so let's take a closer look. This quarter, our investment committee took a deep dive into the ins and outs of the economy, markets, monetary policy, and geopolitics. And while there are many factors, there's one trend that's continued since the last quarter, which is the Federal Reserve indicating that the tightening cycle is done and will instead potentially begin cutting interest rates over 2024. The Fed remains cautious yet optimistic that the worst of inflation is behind us. Meanwhile, the labor market has held up very well even with the 11 interest rate hikes between 2022 and 2023. A significant theme that the investment committee agreed on was that 2024 may prove to be more volatile than not, specifically in certain sectors, with Fed interest rate decisions and, of course, the 2024 presidential election. The committee also believes that the U.S. dollar should remain stronger than many foreign currencies, and American exceptionalism for growth and returns will potentially continue. Let's start with the Dunham Core Fixed Income Allocation. The investment committee continues easing into duration, therefore reducing exposure to the Dunham Floating Rate Bond Fund while increasing position in the Dunham High Yield Bond Fund to benefit from the potentially lower interest rates courtesy of the Federal Reserve. To manage this increased duration and credit risk, the investment committee has kept its allocation in the Dunham Long Short Credit Fund steady in an attempt to offset any volatility. Further, there were some significant changes in the Dunham Core Fixed Light Portfolio. The investment committee debated and then agreed on reducing meaningful positions in both the Dunham Monthly Distribution Fund and the Dunham Long Short Credit Fund and reallocating the balance into the Dunham Corporate Government Bond Fund. Meanwhile, in the Dunham Core Equity Portfolio, there was a continued shift from real estate into U.S. small-cap value and macro opportunities as the investment committee favored moving into both the Dunham small-cap value and Dunham dynamic macro funds while reducing exposure from the Dunham real estate stock fund. The committee believes there is more favorable upside potential from small-cap value in a lower interest rate environment, and the Dunham dynamic macro fund may offer a versatile approach toward global markets. This concludes our second quarter behind the scenes for 2024. We invite you to stay tuned for our concluding slides showcasing the latest weightings and changes made in the Dunham Core Fixed Income Portfolio and Dunham Core Fixed Equity Portfolio. From all of us at Dunham, we wish you safety and prosperity ahead. Until next time.